So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create tileable textures using ZBrush. First things first is, as you will notice here, is I have Maya open. You don't have to use Maya specifically, you can use any other 3D software, but you kind of will need uh, another 3D software in order to do this. So here's the trick. So first what you want to do is create a plane. And make sure that that plane is set to two subdivisions and I'm going to scale this by like 200 and now what we want to do is we want to duplicate this object so I'm going to press ctrl D and I'm going to snap it using the X key in Maya and you snap this to the side do the same with this one snap it to the side and I'll keep doing that now I'm going to do it for the top just make sure they snap exactly uh, with each other. Okay, so there we have it. And now what I'll do is I'm going to select all the uh, planes from the outside. Uh, oops, it looks like these are not snapping exactly where they should. Okay, now they are. And I'm going to, first I'm going to offset the UVs on these, on the outside ones. I'm going to offset by one. And this is so that I can use this plane as my low poly plane once I uh, bake high poly details. So you can use this plane as both the high poly and the low poly. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, combine all these. And I'm going to merge my vertices so that's uh, all connected. And I'm also going to delete the outer edge. There we go. And this is essentially going to be our plane. I'm just going to delete history and you can name it whatever you want. Okay, now all we have to do is export this. So go to File, Export Selection. I'm going to export this as an FBX file and make sure Smoothing Groups, Tangents, Binomials is on. Again, this is so that I can use this as my low poly model. Now what I'll do is I'll open up ZBrush. Okay, so now in ZBrush, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, so, uh, Z plugin menu and FBX import and import our FBX. And we have imported the low poly model and just drag that in to edit. Okay, so now we have this. And now we're going to enable polyframe here. Uh, Shift F if you want to enable that or just click here. And what we want to do is we want to hide everything except the uh, four uh, quads here in the middle. So I'm going to uh, press Control Shift and drag with my left mouse. And then use the space bar to move this to the center. And now we have all uh, only this uh, visible. And with this visible, what we want to do is we want to uh, create a polygroup for these so that they're separate from everything else. So group visible. I have it here as part of my UI, but you can find that under polygroups. Uh, group visible okay and now we can uh, control shift click outside and we can see now that this is going to be uh, our tileable texture this is going to be the space where we're going to be sculpting essentially and these are going to be the edges and so now all you have to do is pretty much divide it um in geo divide but what you want to do is we want to disable smt which is smooth you don't want to smooth as you subdivide. So let's subdivide it by at least until we get to 1 million uh, polys. So as you can see here now we have a lot more polys to work with. And now we can and we can still keep the uh, the frame so that we know the reason we're doing the polygroups thing is so that we know exactly uh, where our sculpting area is and where the edges are. And so now we can start to actually sculpt um, and the one thing that you need to know about sculpting is for every brush that you use, you want to enable uh, wrap mode to two. And so right now I have my standard brush enabled and under brush curve uh, wrap mode, you want to set this to two. And so that when you uh, start sculpting on one side, you see that it actually tiles. So as you can see there. And I already have it here as part of my UI, but obviously every time you use a new brush, for example, uh, that's going to be off. So you have to set it 
set it up for every single brush that you start using so that that actually tiles and uh, so just that's the one thing that you really have to remember as you switch brushes just to make sure that that is enabled in the wrap mode uh, set to two and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you set it up and uh, obviously not all brushes work with the wrap mode it doesn't work with every single brush but it's most it works with most brushes that's that's good okay so now once you're done all you have to do is export your high poly um, and then in your baking program what you want to do is import the same low poly model that we used here and then the high poly as your high poly to bake the normal map and all the details so that's it for this tutorial and uh, uh by the way if you just wanted to download it the the template uh, I, I made one it's uh, in the video description it's free you can just download it uh, it's a zbrush file and the fbx if you don't if you don't want to do it yourself and you just want to download it and have it ready to go so yeah, thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in Unreal, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.